So I will transfer you my energy. I will transfer my karma. Here is my karma on you. Please record it. Boom. 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 Connected to the cloud server. <laughs> Say it, Brian. Connected to the cloud server. <laughs> All right, Zuckerberg. <laughs> Did you guys see that picture of him recently? Yeah, don't. Wearing the, <laughs> wearing the, the yeah, surfing. wearing the white face, the sunscreen on it. Who? Yeah. Zuckerberg. He was wearing. He was surfing, and he had a, like pretty much white face on because his sunscreen didn't absorb into his skin. So he's like uh, behind him, but he has like this just like clown mask on and, and he was using a uh, electric surfboard and not like oh really of course but i mean shit if you're if you got it like that oh for sure yeah yeah why not right yeah. but man it's good to see you dude i know it's been way too long does this shirt make me look buff <laughs> for sure for sure that's why i was asking if you were guys gonna use the video because I, yeah, I knew the video was going to be there, so I, I knew to dress appropriately. I can definitely tell you work on a golf course. Your forearms <laughs> are so dark. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's it's crazy. crazy. You should see, like, uh, you know, from my hip to, like, my mid-thigh. It's just absolutely ridiculously uh, white. It's like two different races of people in the same body. <laughs> like a swirly. Yeah, it's, it's been hot as shit up here. <laughs> We got the weird tan line too. I've like been kayaking recently, and there's nothing you can really do about your back when you're kayaking. So I've got like this oval shape on like my front body that's just all tan, and then my back is just white. <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do? So what's the deal? Are we are we we're recording now? Are we are we live? Oh yeah, hell yeah! We're well, thanks for having me on your show. I'm very excited about it. This is I feel like this is a good way to uh, rekindle relationships of old. Yeah, absolutely, man. For sure. You yeah. know. Be like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Are you trying to do a webcam chat? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, man, I haven't talked in about 10 years. You guys want to – that's like the new family – like a high school reunion. <laughs> Is that where you start having your old friends on your podcast? Just <laughs> <laughs> the DMs, sliding the Zoom. Hey, you want Zoom? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to create some content together? <laughs> Let's Zoom. Yeah, that's official. We should get Brian to come down and videotape one of our wiffle ball games slash play. That'd be cool. We've been playing wiffle ball every weekend for like a month. Yeah, probably a month. Yeah. Uh, Is anybody throwing like like real hard or like uh not really, but we've been trying to throw like the the crazy stuff more so. Like the, the crazy curves and shit. It's so difficult to actually throw it. <laughs> so you could hold it the same way and try to throw the same exact pitch. And the one time it will be a slider and the next time it will go 20 feet to the left. Like yeah. it's, it's so inconsistent. And I don't know if that's because of just how we're throwing it, but I, I doubt it. You know, John used to be a pitcher. I mean, I used to play baseball and right. you know, if we play pitch and catch, I can hit them in the chest, you know, nine times out of 10. But if you try to throw a wiffle ball, it's like one out of 10. It's like, what the heck? My cousin used to play in a league, and they would, like, scratch the bottom of the balls. Yeah, oh, we, shit, well, we, yeah. Did, we tried to uh, um, slide yeah. over cement <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Yeah, we like, up. we, like, the whole thing to get, like, I guess, grooves, because that's yeah, what yep. the, the baseball do, is create that airflow. Mm. Yeah, it was cool. It's fun, though. We, we upgraded yeah. from the wiffle ball bat to the blitz ball bat. It's so much better. So much more fun. Seems like you guys have been real productive. <laughs> hey, we're getting out in the sun. We're doing yeah. some cool things. After being cooped up inside for like three months, so I can do anything to get outside. Yeah, I mean, I get. Yeah. So, so you're working on a golf course. So, what's the name of the golf course? Uh, it's Hidden Creek Golf Club. It's in uh, it's in Jersey, obviously. Um, I was actually running my own business. And then this coronavirus came. So I kind of like all my work dried up like almost immediately. But it's really cool. One of my good friends from high school uh, is the one running the course. So I just kind of jumped in and, you know, it's like right. taking off. So it's pretty good. It's just it's, it's brutal when it's like this hot. Like it's been in the 90s for like, yeah, two weeks it feels like. Yeah. 
And then when I wake up, you know, I get up at like three or three thirty, and when I wake up, it's like eighty degrees out. So it's like there's no no relief whatsoever. That's crazy. We've been trying to take so John has two dogs, I have two dogs, and we've been trying to take them for like walks. But even at night, when it's at nine o'clock at night, it's so humid down here, and it's just yeah. still eighty five, and I don't want to. I don't even want to walk. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Well, congrats on finishing school. I listened to your last podcast. Thanks, man. Pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't even. I I, 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 ugh, I can speak. I don't even know if I'll ever go back get like a master's or a doctorate just because it's such a waste of time. And honestly, I don't even know if it's worth it. Doctor, doctor. The only reason I'm doing it is because I'm kind of in that field and I don't have any certifications or anything. So that's my next step. Is right. Like, there's so many certifications in like IT and you can, you can study by yourself. You don't have to pay anybody. You just have to pay for the test, which is like a hundred bucks. I'd much rather do a hundred dollar or $200 exam to get a certification and study on my own and then taking you know 13 classes for three and a half four years right yeah i don't blame like, you man i like hated the, college yeah the time aspect of that is just so so detrimental because it's like i mean it's not even if you just ignore the cost it's just like four years of just studying this thing and i don't understand that because like everyone learns that they're at different speeds so you're, yeah, you're in a classroom and you're getting taught from an educated professor, but if I can learn the material in, you know, two weeks or what have you, um, well, the one you thing that pissed me off is say. when the professor would respond, their grammar sucks. <laughs> also, when you look at the syllabus, like, oh, hey, everybody, this is going to be a 10 page paper and it's like APA format, which is, you know, if you follow APA, it's Super like Times New Roman 12.5 double spacing. Holy shit, we're off to a fucking exciting start on this episode. But then you get, then you submit it and they're like, oh, well, I didn't want 10 pages. I want like a minimum of 10 pages. Like, well, fuck you, man. It sounds like, it could, sounds like that guy was just an asshole. But I got magna cum laude, miss summa cum laude by one fucking B. So, yeah, it just seems like a waste of time. Like, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff that I learned, you know, with like the video equipment for like my podcast and my business, like I, I just watched YouTube videos. Yeah, well, it's like John, right? For the garage band or whatever, you just kind of just did it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just that's the same way, just kind of like trial and error, just making sure that it's getting yeah. out there. Yeah. That's like, like just st sticking with that and then like learning as much as possible. But I still haven't, I have a ton to learn. I feel like. There's so many different things that I could be doing that I keep like picking up on. Probably like turn this podcast into like a how or what what not to do when you start a podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to learn, though. Yeah, that's, yeah, the, that's, that's definitely the best way to learn. Fun. So, so you started a one show. You said you had like sixty episodes of that one show. Yeah, so I'm still doing one show with the place that I used to work at. It's um it's like a rehab and sober living and uh is that like Surfside where Goldman yeah, yeah exactly yeah Goldman still works there I talk really? to him probably five times a day <laughs> that's awesome tell myself what's up ben? yeah well he, he lives like uh around the corner from me no way yeah I lived up there. yeah cool. yeah it's super I mean who who the fuck would have thought that me and him would have got <laughs> together <laughs> out of everybody <laughs> oh yeah they're both doing great um so yeah I, me me and the guy who runs uh runs that place we've been doing a podcast uh probably been doing it for like a year and a half and we're 60 episodes in i had a podcast with a buddy of mine um we did like 20 episodes and then it kind of just faded out that's like the hallmark i've i've seen like if you can if you can break 20 and you're still sticking with it like consistently you're Cause then it just starts rolling. Like after you get through twenty, it just kind of kind of rolls. Well, well, guess what, Brian? Is this number 20? 21? 20, 22. This is twenty-two. Oh. Yep. It's a, actually an official podcast now. Twenty-two. <laughs> Welcome to the second official episode of our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Fact number one for podcasts. 
Make it the 20. Make it a 20. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of like life. You can make it past even a 21. Yeah, what is it? It's like. Um, that's 27, actually. I think 27. it's. 27. That, that's 27 first. Yeah, right? 27. Uh, we're, we're there now. So, so there's like what, 21 days to start a habit or something like that, too. Yeah, okay. What's, the, what's with these numbers? You know, what, what's something you, about your brain that's just like, you know what? I've done this enough. I'm going to keep doing it. Well, it's, <laughs> like, what is that? It's one of those things, too, where I think a lot of this is fake and we just, we hear it so much that we make it real. Mm. Like, like trans fats. Does trans fats um, actually exist? I'm going to come up with something called like a pseudo calorie and it says uh, zero pseudo calories. People are like, oh, what is that? It's like, it's a pseudo calorie. You don't have to explain yourself. I feel like you do. Well, pseudo I feel, what, I feel like people know what trans fat is. <laughs> like, I feel like you can't just, <laughs> that's a real thing. <laughs> I mean, it might not is have been, health? but is it might it? not, but that's the thing with the health industry. And, and I'm sure like when Brian gets into a subject, he can elaborate more, but there's, that's very trendy, you know, fitness, health, diet, like there's certain trends, you know, Atkins, keto, the carnivore, there's a whole bunch of trends and stuff. But I, I assume that, you know, as long as you stick to similar guidelines for everything, you're going to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> as Brian holds up a slice of cheese, <laughs> pizza. That's funny. Uh, yeah, you're right, though. I, there is, there just, there's a whole bunch of fads and stuff like that. I'm, I'm lucky. I mean, I know both of you guys like that. Shane, more so, we got the same body type where we can just eat fucking whatever. It doesn't matter. Shane's been, Shane's been in rehabbing a little bit, so he's gotten a little chunky. Yeah, just so, worse, <laughs> so I, yeah, a little bit. But it's, I'm starting to actually get back into it now, so within a month or two, I should be good. Yeah, all right. Well, that's good. Not that's... being active for seven months, I literally want to kill myself. <laughs> Well, did you, uh, was it something with your knee? I remember hearing something on the other podcast. you get your, your knee done? Well, my knee and shoulder, right knee, just been shit forever. And now it's just at the point where every time I step, it feels like a, like a needle or somebody just stabbed my knee. Um, and then my, I tore my labrum and my rotator cuff. But I have four range of motion, so I don't know if I'm going to get surgery. Is it affecting the wiffle ball pitch? No, it's not, actually. That's a good so, thing. Yeah. That's, That's weird. what matters. Yeah. Yeah. And I just golfed for the first time this week, and I shot under 100 with the – I haven't played in like a year and a half, so. That's not, it's, it's not that bad at all. <laughs> yeah. nice. Actually, I think it took one more. Here it goes. Snowball effect. No, it was, it was one. It was good. I was like, oh. Nice. Cool. All so right, episode good. 22, veganism and samurais. Give me a good one. Deuce, deuce. Twos. All right, do you want to um, do the patent it? Who goes first, or are we going to do the question? Oh, uh, I think we should be a good host and let the guests go first. Oh, let's let him choose. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, yeah, you can choose. What do you want to do? You want to go first or second for your topic? Uh, let, let's go second. All right. I, I yield. Yeah, I'll kick. So he yields. I, I want it. I want it in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> he, wants to, he wants to kick off. All right, Samurais. So, um, as is being the first episode that we have a guest on shane and i both took the responsibility to research samurais um and brian will talk about uh, veganism and when it comes to samurais i because we're tag teaming it i really am hoping that shane has a lot of the background and the boring stuff oh yeah because, <laughs> because... I do. so we haven't planned this we planned it, but i definitely do have some of the boring hell stuff. yes all right start but, with the boring it's, shit. but it's informational so <laughs> it, it gets out of the way so you, you know in the beginning you learn it and then you can mm -hmm. start getting into like the fun cool shit so here we go <laughs> samurai were warriors in the pre-modern era of japan and they were recruited to fight by local chieftains primarily for war uh, and then once their wars were over, they would go back to their lands and they would, you know, till the land and live off the land. Of course, if you've ever seen the movie, The Last Samurai, um, kind of a good depiction other than, you know, kind of the whole white savior thing. 
Minus yeah, it was that. Tom Cruise, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> minus, the, minus the white savior complex shit. Yeah. It's actually fairly good um, like fiction. Matt Damon did that too, right? In that recent movie. Yeah, oh. they had like dragons and stuff. Yeah, like I never watched yeah, it. It's like, yeah, but it's still, it's like, it's Asian movie based. Matt Damon. <laughs> it's like two white the guys, whitest guy we can find. Ben Affleck. Yeah, yeah. You white, so yeah, you Ben Affleck. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. All those guys are in like Boston movies too. Like, how do you star in a in a movie that's based in Boston and then also star in as a Mongol on like in the <laughs> Serengeti? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what? <laughs> Anyways. All right, anyway, back to it. So then this uh, kind of started in the 10th century. Um, so at the time, Japan had an emperor who kind of controlled everything. And he was starting to lose control of all of his provinces. So there was different samurai clans that, you know, started to become political entities. And by this 12th century, which is known as the Edo period, um, you know, they kind of took over and started running shit. Um, and for about 700 years, and so for about 400 years, they were just constantly battling each other, fighting for land, for territory, for power. And then once they kind of had the samurai caste um, society, everything kind of became peaceful for like the next 700 years. Wow, that's a long that time. Yep. So I have some more boring stuff. Or do you wanna? I my, a lot of what I I just looked at like the actual practice of being a samurai, like the discipline required. That's my next. So yeah. go ahead, take it. It's like it's crazy. It how is, do you wanna know what's called? What, what, what what's called? It's called the Ethic Code of Bushido, or the Way of the Warrior. Mm. It's a Confucian ideology. Nice. Um, cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, also, also, you. I started reading these stories about samurai, and the actual last samurai died in 1870, and that was at the same time the um. I don't even know how the way to, the way that they're supposed to gracefully kill themselves. Oh, seppuku. Seppuku, yeah, but I don't know if that's the right way to describe it but anyway seppuku is is when it, when a samurai gets into trouble or if they commit an act of violence that's outside of um you know ideology. their their ideology they get in trouble with the um leader or something they have to commit seppuku which is uh taking one of their three swords that they have and wrapping the blade part of the blade in a cloth and then jamming about six to seven inches of the blade into their stomach and going left to right. Um, and then uh, this is something that uh, I, I think what I picked up was kind of like a, a argumentative piece was that the, so the, when they, once they cut their torso, they're supposed to, well, one of two things can happen. The next thing is they cut their own head off, but they, but not oh, <laughs> none of the, none of the decapitations or full decapitations, they they're supposed to cut the head off in a way that leaves skin attached, so that the head hangs down like it's bowing. Yeah. Um, so either they they have to cut their own head off, <laughs> or which sounds which sounds like a lot after you ask them to <laughs> cut themselves in the stomach. <laughs> like you have you have to also cut your head off, and you can't cut it all the way off. It just seems like a stretch. So then they added in another person, and that person's job, only job, is to cut the head off just barely enough so it hangs there. Um, or if you were by yourself, after you would do the stomach, you go up to make mm, sure it's oh. fatal. I heard that. I I th heard that it was hardly ever done without like a big ceremony, though. Like it was like a like a almost like a rite of passage into like the next world. It, it would happen if you were caught. If you were like a prisoner. If you had the means, uh, that that's how they would commit suicide. Got yeah, you. Yeah, because it, it was if you got like defeated by an enemy, it's shameful. So, like, oh, I'm about to die by your hands. Nah, that ain't me. That ain't me, fam. Um, I uh, 
like a, a sidebar to that. Did you know that some Japanese soldiers didn't surrender until for World War II until like the 60s and 70s? What? Do you guys know this at all? Yeah, they're, they're hardcore warriors in Japan. Like there were guys like on Guam and stuff that didn't like didn't surrender until the 60s. And they, and they say even people were, you know, they still considered World War II to be on in like the 90s. Wow. But there's no like real, real proof of that. I mean, but I heard about this Sepikyu or however you pronounce it from the show Man in the High Castle. Uh, have you guys seen that on Amazon? Uh, I've watched a couple episodes. But yeah. It's. No. It's, no. <laughs> it's weird. It's like, it's really, really weird. Uh, they like throw you into the middle of the story. So you don't really know what's going on. And it's like an alternate history thing as if like, you know, the U.S., you know, surrendered to Japan and Germany. So, you know, the U.S. was kind of split down the middle. Uh, Germany had the East Coast and Japan had the uh, West Coast. It was kind of weird. Like one of it the gets stories, one of the super stories. weird too. If you get a couple of seasons in, it gets really, really strange. It takes like a sci-fi twist. Yeah, I know that one of the storylines early on was about like someone trying to go from the west to the east, or the east to west, or something like crossing that border. It was interesting. But so one, of the, so I actually picked the samurai topic because I'm fascinated with Japanese culture and I'm obsessed with katanas. And so for you. For those of you who do not know, Samurai's primary weapon was a sword called the Katana, which is super cool. If you ever seen Kill Bill, it's the sword that she... Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron. Yeah, emphasis on the Z. Charlize Charlize Theron. Theron. With her yellow jumpsuit. (laughs) Leonardo also had one in the Ninja Turtles as well. Oh. Uh... (laughs) Thank you. Nice. Which one was that? Which color is that? Blue. blue. Okay. Yeah, blue. So I'm like obsessed with them. If I ever get a house, I want to buy samurai swords. They're so interested in me. I think they're super cool looking. You have to have a house to buy samurai swords? <laughs> well, house, is a, <laughs> house is a primary like need right now. Oh, uh, so they're not so connected. I, I prioritize my things. Number one on my list right now is house. Okay, house. gotcha. So, so when number you... like three. <laughs> Short list. <laughs> I think you should get the sword and then get the house to match the sword. Yeah, I think that you're the reason why you haven't got the house yet is because you're not you're not scary enough. <laughs> you get the fear factor involved in the in the process of getting the house. I think I mean if you show up with a katana on the back to your your walkthrough, scare the neighbors, lower the housing, <laughs> lower, lower the housing prices around me. Hey, get a better deal that way. Yeah. <laughs> But, That's amazing. Um, one of the things that I think is cool about katanas is the, oh my gosh, what's it called? Like the handle thing. Um, somebody help me out. The, the uh, handle of the sword? Yeah, but it has a name. Uh, um, I think we all know what you're talking about. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> so you have the blade and then you have like the handle. So <laughs> there's a name for it. I want to be official, but I'm drawing. Suba? Cool. Suba? Oh, yeah, he's just going to say yes. Sure. Oh, <laughs> no, that's, yeah. the, that's the guard. That's the guard. Uh, Suka? Maybe? Suka? Who cares? Anyway, so it's there's actually like a pin or multiple pins that kind of keeps it together. And the reason why it's not, you know, completely together the whole time, like, uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh. When you put two things of metal together. Meld them. You weld them. Weld. They're not welded together because you want to be able to pop those pins out so you can see the the metal part of the handle. Mm. Because the designer of the blade Mm. will like write his name or his crest or something Mm. on it. So that's Mm. how. uh, If you ever watched a show like um, Pawn Shop or Pawn Wars or whatever it's called. If they bring in a sword, they pop it out, they bring an expert in, and he goes, oh, this was made by such and such, and depending on what makes it, it would be so much more valuable. That makes sense. Interesting. You should buy one of those really expensive ones. I I still say go for the sword before the house. I think I'm leaning that way, too. Yeah. I do two-thirds majority. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's settled. (laughs) Our our decision controls your life. All right. I already ordered it. Nice. I looked up um, some other stories about samurais, and 
one, the f- movie 47 Ronin is a true story. And uh, all of them, <clears throat> I don't know, I'm going to spoil the whole movie um, for the sake of this podcast. So, uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> um, but uh, all 47 of them go back for revenge because their leader got killed. So they go kill everyone in this castle. And then at the end, all of them commit seppuku. All 47 of them. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, that's so nuts. So speaking of castles, I did not know this because I thought it was kind of cool. Is because Japan at one point was in like the whole chaotic period. There were so many castles that were actually built in Japan. And still to this day, there's over 100 castles that are still in Japan. And I, you know, when I think castles, I think of like Europe and stuff. I, I don't think of Japan at all, but really? apparently Japan's a shitload of them. <laughs> I just think of old times when I think castle. I feel like everyone had a castle, like a, some form of a castle. Chinese have like castles. They got those layered things in, uh, yeah. <laughs> Pagoda. Pagoda, yes, and like Thailand and stuff Aren't like those that. Pagodas, like also when, um, when an earthquake comes, that's why they're still standing because they like can shake and they don't like crumble. I didn't know that. Yeah, so that's why they're still like intact. Are you making this up? Oh, we have an architect uh, yeah. here right now, and she is saying our she's Google fact them. checker Joe. See, I know these random random shit, random facts. Because I'm s- sorry, I doubted you. You should. Yeah, it's so, not that good at random facts though so what happens is there's like, so, these different the, bring them down the hey, hey, hey. there's these <laughs> different l- levels of like the wood and when an earthquake happens it shakes and it shakes the wood and it stays intact but it doesn't crumble it so glad you explained that um <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see uh oh well, there was one other thing about um um samurai discipline and their mindset so this one guy wanted to become a samurai, but his one arm was six inches longer than his other arm. <laughs> so they were like, what the fuck? But he ended up being one of the best archers that the Japanese army has ever seen or samurai culture has ever seen because he made his strength more or his weakness more of a strength. That sounds like 300 and that deformed guy wasn't allowed in the army because he was, he couldn't lift his shield up. Yeah. Uh what was that guy's name? I forget his Man. name. It's Brian, a fucking you know awesome movie. No, I don't. I could Google it though, but I'm not gonna do that because that's cheating. Uh, all right. We got our official Googler over here. So, <laughs> okay. She wasn't listening, so she gets a a, a C today. <laughs> all right. Anything else about samurais? Oh, I could I could talk more about samurai, but it's boring when you <laughs> for a podcast. <laughs> Ephelides. Ephelides. Oh. Ephelides. You know, that's one thing, too. There's so many, I don't want to say weird, just different names. We got to bring those back. Yeah, right? Like Leonidas. I don't know anybody named Leonidas. Maximus. That stuff sounds so cool. Times are changing. What, what can we say? Yeah. <laughs> We're getting rid of Karen, so. Yeah, all Karens are canceled, unfortunately. I have an Aunt Karen who's very sweet. That sums up um, since like February 2019, the percentage of Karens. Um, Jesus. <laughs> it makes sense. Oh my God. Just get, just, just rein it in for a second. Think about all the things that you just said in the last like 10 minutes. You've just come up with a random fact about every single thing that we've talked about. You're telling me that every single one of those things is factual? Oh, yeah. Come on, I, I double, triple check my work. The Karen name thing? It's 100% true. I believe that. You, you know what? You know what is a real fact, though? No, I'm just saying that. It just it sounds like just got to keep you on track sometimes, man, because you throw together words and numbers, and then you never follow up with the... I don't with think the, I know. <laughs> they're always factual. I don't know. There was that one episode. We'll go back. We'll go back to the tapes. But Brian, all right, let's do it. All right, so this is another fact and a true fact that 84% of <laughs> vegans and vegetarians return to eating meat. So here, here, here's, 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 the, here's the background on why I picked this topic. Because when I was texting you and trying to set this up, I was like, uh, I was working 
and like trying to think of shit, but I was so busy, I like, couldn't really think of anything. And I was trying to think of like something that would like piss me off that might like make me go on a rant or something like that because sometimes <laughs> that's entertaining. And uh, vegans have just been pissing me off lately. You know, they just really been grinding my gears. Um, there are a lot in New Jersey. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really know, uh, what route to go. Usually like the podcast I have, I, I, uh, just kind of bitch about something. It's like very, uh, you know, cathartic, you could say, um, whatever. But, uh, yeah, go for it. Tell us so, what you know about veganism. Why do you hate it? This is, this is what I hate, right? I, hate, I think, I think it is good. Actually, I think it is good that people want to take care of the environment don't support factory farming and all this other stuff. But what I strongly disagree with is the fact that these people, they use the logic of, I don't want to kill animals, but have absolutely no problem killing plants. Right. That's what really bugs me. That's what really, it it does. I'm I'm sorry, guys. It just, it bugs the shit out of me. You know what I mean? Cause like plants have feelings too. (laughs) And, you know, plants fucking matter. And, you know, people just, you know, they, you know, care about like, you know, eating a chicken or like eating some fucking eggs. And, and they'll be like, you know, I, I went out with this girl like a couple of times years ago, probably five years ago. And she, was, she, she wouldn't eat anything that was like an animal byproduct, but, you know, be house and salads. Like, <laughs> you're just killing all these plants. You'd be, like going into, you'd be like going into the woods and just cutting down trees because you're fucking hungry. And they just don't care. A lot of salads are more unhealthy for you than just eating plain meat. Because yeah. you're adding like all of this... Uh, like dressing and toppings and all this shit to it. And, and I don't know if there's pesticides on that and it's messing you up. See, and that's the other thing I think it is, is I think it's all fucking marketing is why people are doing this kind of shit, right? That's, that's what I think it is. The whole organic food, like push and stuff like that. And there's no real, uh, like any sort of like oversight or anything like that. Like they can kind of just throw made at an organic farm on the label and charge you $2 extra per pound of whatever, whatever it is. Yeah. I know some people are super into that stuff and they'll pay for it, which is, which is the crazy thing. Look, Joanna worked at, she's a baker. She has her, like a hat on baker. And we did a farmer's market last year. And there were, there was one, one stand that had, uh, was organic, right? The uprooted farms. Uh-oh. Yeah, and they said they were the only one that was like officially organic, but they said they had to jump through so many fucking hoops and like document the process of like everything. And then people have to come out and check for, you know, certain specific chemicals and stuff like that that they put in there. Yeah, yeah. and it doesn't, and I didn't even, I mean, you're selling lettuce. So, like, what are the margins on that, anyways? I mean, I mean, I guess (laughs) it might be pretty high, to be honest, right? You just plant a seed, got like, 15 cents you sell you a head of lettuce for like three bucks water you have a water system that yeah if it's like city owned or something you're screwed but if it's just a well and you can constantly pump then it's it's fine and then that, that, that's just electric man and you have for what? panels what oh I, yeah i just meant flipping the the actual vegetable it's probably not yeah. that high yeah the profit margins probably aren't really that high. Yeah. It's like a lot of these, a lot of farms and stuff now are just like, you know, owned by the, you know, owner subsidized like by, by the government. It was like one of these things that like, once I started working outside again, that I like, I realized how much labor goes into like, you know, keeping any sort of plant alive, like in the fucking summertime in the Northeast, it's, it's impossible to really grow anything because the weather just, you just get shit on every single day. Um, so yeah, that was like, that was definitely my rant on veganism. But what I, what I do want to say is I support people who want to have, you know, their own gardens and like not buy chickens that are like kept in like, you know, small cages and like, you know, yeah. well, that's, a, that's the like thing. That. What I was saying earlier is that it's just like a fad. You know what I mean? It's like people don't have the attention span to stick with something for a long time. Like even though that you know what a clean diet is, if everyone got a piece of paper out and a pen and wrote down five things that should be on a clean diet everyone would be able to write five things down 
but no one wants to just eat those five things all the time. So they get fucking bored. They get lazy. Then they start going back to these, either their old habits, which is like fast food, which is even worse for you, or they try new things just constantly. So they're vegan mm -hmm. for three months and then they're keto. They're trying to keto diet and then they're Paleo, what is it? Epis Episcopalian? No, that's a <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? That's a really that's Are you sure? What is the fish? Pescatarian. Pescatarian. Yeah, uh, pescatarian. <laughs> but uh, damn Pescopalians. Um, but all those fucking diets is just like, you know what I mean? It's not, it's people just not being able to stick with one thing or not putting in the work, not getting the results out of it, and then just kind of like, flipping it around i try to eat pizza at least twice a week <laughs> <laughs> you look great man so thanks the thing too about veganism is it's hard to get all of the vitamins and nutrients just from a vegan diet so if you do it wrong then you could actually be hurting yourself unless you're you know taking the appropriate supplements 100 percent Right, because I mean, you most of your vitamins are through vegetables. <laughs> Is it like fish oil? Yeah, it's, like, oh, okay. it's expensive too. <laughs> Hell yeah, this shit's fucking crazy. We went to Whole Foods the other day just to get food, and just looking around, I felt like our basket was getting more expensive just by being <laughs> in the store. <laughs> Actually, this we bought the same kind of stuff. We usually go to Giant. We bought the same kind of stuff, but. Mm. Oh, one no. cost more what's your what's your uh what's your grocery store shop right is what we got up here shop right okay mm -hmm. yeah shop right yeah it's a good it's a good spot we got acme's too acme's usually pretty expensive though you got a hot bar there at uh at what the shop right yeah mm, yes yeah right. i do rotisserie yeah. chickens that's my go -to. yeah the rotisserie chicken yeah. chickens is shit yeah chicken you can box. you can like make make some stuff you know with it and you just Get it out. The fucking vegans jealous out there, huh? You guys jealous? <laughs> All right. Should we do random facts? So, Brian, at the end of each episode, as you know, we do random facts. And well, I think we should, we should do to be Brian podcast first guest. That is aggressive. So, we're going to keep doing 1v1v1. <laughs> one <v1 Yeah. laughs> um, so, so, what is it? Uh, question and answer? Yeah, so we're just going to ask random facts uh, about samurais or veganism or just really anything. Um, and if you don't know the answer, don't feel stupid because they're really fucking hard sometimes. <laughs> uh, Where are these questions coming from? JoJo. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Can, can you Fair hear enough. me? Yeah, I can, I can hear you. Okay, oh, lots, shit. I didn't even think about that. Lots yeah. of different sources. Okay. It's not my makeup on my own. Should we all sit on the couch? Um. No, I need to. Oh, uh, okay. That would have been funny. <laughs> do I have to? <laughs> Just shout. Who's going first? Do I have to buzz in? Uh, no. no, we go person by person. No, we do. Okay. We do. If you don't okay. get it, the other person can steal. Yeah. Like, Just like Family Feud. Yes. Sure. Yeah. But there's three people now, so I don't know if we could steal. How would we do that? That's because three of Three people? Yeah. With what? <laughs> Yo. But we can't, but we won't be able to pick up the audio on the one mic. That's why I said, oh, no, I don't mean the answer. I just that's mean why like I said me. That's or... why I said 2v1. Gang up on Brian. Yeah, I think so. so. Two on one. Yeah, two on one. Let's do it. <laughs> if, Brian, if Brian wins, uh, I'll be upset. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's do it. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Who's going first? Oh, we're we'll doing the. We'll go uh, first. Caesars? 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 Um. Yeah, you guys wanna go first? Let's do it. Okay. We're going first. Um by the eighteen seventies, what percentage of the Japanese population was a samurai? By the eighteen seventies? Yep. Zero. Well he just said that yeah. there was the last one was the eighteen seventy. So zero, right? Let's go zero. Is that your final answer? Is it really wrong? It's probably wrong. It's probably what wrong. is this? What is this? You get one answer. And that's it. You can't change the answer. All right, zero. Uh, incorrect. Would you like to steal? No. Can I get a new question? I'd rather have a new question. <laughs> yeah. So the answer is 5%. Nearly 2 million uh, people. 
in Japan were samurais. Interesting. Well, so if there's too many, I feel like being a samurai is not the that last. cool if there are two million samurais. But that's yeah. only five percent of the population. But that's that's a fuck ton. Two million samurais. And how come the last? Can you look? Can you Google last samurai? How many people do they have in Japan? I don't appreciate that you guys are judging my question. I'm not judging. You didn't. Did you write it yourself? Yeah. Did you come up with it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to own a kimono too. I think a kimono is super cool. Uh, uh, Get a bathrobe. Yeah, see, that says Blast Samurai died 1877. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, two million people died within seven years? Well, it's probably like one of those things too. Like They all committed seppuku. <laughs> <laughs> Just like in a line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right. We got that one wrong. Joji, right. you're great. Keep, keep coming. <laughs> um, Brian, you're up. I'm ready. Brian. I'm listening intently. Okay. Hello. Okay. How many animals li- whoa, whoa, whoa. How many animal lives are spared by vegans? Wow, I'm missing information in that question. <laughs> um, None. <laughs> None. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like a couple, a handful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was a day yeah. or a week or a month. Why don't you go, go to the next, next one? one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's try this again. Um, well, this has all the information. We should figure, well, you, you, do you have the answer? Yeah, I do. What's the answer? We'll figure out what the time frame is. <laughs> um, it, it, the answer is 30 animals. Per, but I know, I think like, Per year. No, per year. I think a year is like 200 animals. It's still not that many animals. Yeah. A month, maybe? Yeah. Well, a well, second? <laughs> 10, it's 20, it's like eight, so, yeah, it's like eight. no. 200 divided by 12 is like 8. No, 10 divided by 200 is 20. Mm. Yeah, well, you said 12, though. Yeah. Well, so, 20, 200 divided 16. by 12 is like 8, right? 16. Anyway. All right, nah. your next question. <laughs> um, Brian, this is still for you. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many gallons of water are saved each day by being a vegan? Gallons of water saved a day. I'd say 15 gallons. Uh, incorrect. Would you like to steal? I don't, I don't see how this is connected to, but no, and I'm not, not about the question. Just like, I don't know how vegans save water. Maybe, no, lots of different ways. Oh, maybe because cows drink water and pigs drink water. And... So do plants. Plants yeah, drink water. I know. The, that's well, yeah, but plants don't drink as much as what? cows. Yeah, they, I don't know, man. I don't know. I know my plants don't okay. drink nearly what, as much as me. So what do you think the answer is? These are hard questions. Ten? I don't know. Ten. No, it's a, a thousand. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> what? I swear they're real questions. Yeah, uh, if okay. that's from, if those are facts from PETA, it's definitely bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. All right. Okay, next question. Okay. Which fictional city is the home of Batman? Gotham. Hey. Oh, wait, what are we doing? I, I got that right. right? Yeah. Um, it's a, a layup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we switch <laughs> gears really yeah, fast yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> um, spinach is high in which mineral? Uh, that's a good one. Mineral, like an element, like uh, like element. a like like a vitamin. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, more, yeah. More it's 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 high it's high in vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Um, vitamin B. Hold up. Let's no, 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 mineral. Like like potassium. He's similar. Okay. Well, okay. Lines. Well, Popeye. So you got big muscles. Protein. Yeah, that sounds good. Protein. No, the answer is iron. Um, I guess that's, uh, all right. Um, which type of dog has breeds called Scottish, Welsh, and Irish? Okay. <laughs> that was a layup too. I'm not doing this on purpose. <laughs> um. On a fix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they could actually be the answer. I don't know. I can't 
can't see that far. We got the last question. The scouts on our. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't true. see anything. Is, is scouts three or two? Uh, or one? Were you ever a scout, Brian? Two or three. Yeah. A long time ago. I got the it's, scout it's, from you. Yeah, as soon as they wanted, they were like, hey, we're going to go on a camping trip and we're going to hike 15 miles. I was like, peace. <laughs> I'm out. All right, Brian, you ready? I'm ready. Babe Ruth is associated with which sport? New York Yankees. Oh, oh, baseball. <laughs> I almost said team. New York Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> baseball. It is baseball. Almost got the layup blocked okay, from that behind. Was a, that, was a, yeah. <laughs> that was LeBron. Yeah. Yeah. You heard the footsteps. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> I didn't even wait for the question to be over. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> All right. What grappling-based martial art form was created by the samurai? Ooh. Ooh. Um. Yeah, or Taekwondo. I would never, neither done. <laughs> judo sounds, done either. sounds Japanese too. Right? Judo, is that more like, I feel like that sounds like more fighting than wrestling. No, I don't think so. Judo. Judo. Incorrect. What? Would you like to try to steal? Yes. <laughs> is it jujitsu? It is. Oh, man. They combine multiple different <laughs> techniques. Uh, <laughs> I did so, I watched so much Naruto. <laughs> Ah! That one's upsetting me. What is it? One one? Yeah, no, two one. Oh, no, it's two, one. Oh, no, two one. Two one. Two one. Two one. No, no, no. We got two one. Bad guys. I got. I got Gotham and Terriers. But he yeah. got Babe Ruth and. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is two two. Oh yeah, two two. Two two. Two two. Um. Okay. In the world today, how many practicing vegans over the age of fifty five are there? <laughs> give you like none because it sucks <laughs> like a are you looking for like millions a percentage yeah, millions. millions in the u.s or the world in the world that's ridiculous. that's a crazy question well i feel like there are some problems. countries that only eat. that's what i was saying like yeah. uh, do muslim people only eat vegans? No, they don't eat they don't eat pork yeah because oh, you stole pork. okay yeah it's this question yeah, five million is that your answer Sure. <laughs> uh, no, that's incorrect. Let's go a lot higher. Yeah, let's go like, like two hundred million. Also incorrect. It's two point five million. Uh, two point five million. Apparently, over fifty-five. That's way too many. <laughs> <laughs> One is too many. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have like uh, a whole bunch of different yes. like groups like throwing bricks through my windows after this. <laughs> um, in the film Babe, what type of animal was Babe? Pig. Was Pig. Pig. <clears throat> it's nice to have these like mixed in. What? <laughs> I feel smart for a second, you know. It makes me feel good. It's all um, about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which crime-fighting cartoon dog has the initials SD on his collar? Snoop Dogg. <laughs> row, row. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. Um, three, three. What is the total number of dots on a pair of die? Dice. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> I just lost track. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Wait, what's the question again? Yeah. What's the total number of dots, dots. on a pair of dice? 21. Is that your final answer? Yeah, if you did the math. Um, right. No, that's incorrect. Brian, would you like to steal? 18. 18. No. Damn it. 42. What? A pair of dice. Oh, God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> damn. All right. We're idiots. Oh, I got it. The, the one right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's why tests are dumb, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you miss one word. All right. Just trying to trick you. <laughs> Sorry. Probably a vegan probably made this test. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, You're getting that same feeling. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, which, nope, wrong question. Traditionally, how many wonders of the world are there? Seven. Se seven. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, have, I, can't, I can't, the two verse one. So yeah, no, sorry. Because no. it's not like my turn. You know what I mean? He, he answers, it doesn't feel like, but I'm sorry. That's okay. You got it right. Nice. If you want to count it. Four to three. That was a pretty easy one. The diamond one was it? really easy too. It was seven, yes. We're idiots. Um, it wasn't that easy. Is that like the the Library of Alexandria and the Great Wall of China? Gardens of Babylon. Well, isn't yeah. is a barrier reef one? But I don't think it, it's like gone now. So can you even consider that a wonder? I don't know. These are things I think about. <laughs> All right. Um, how? Would samurais test their swords? Probably some Bamboo. super intense no, no, way, like would... on the in between their toes. No, I think they... <laughs> no, I, I believe they cut through bamboo. I mean, that would make sense. Or, or you're just being super racist. No, no they, they usually, from what I've realized, I think they put up like five different pieces of bamboo and they try to cut through diagonally. All right. Cutting through bamboo um, is wrong. I can it, just see in your it, face. It is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I make, I don't you know like why that would sharpen it, though. No, no, no. Strength. Test the strength. Yeah. But isn't that testing the sharpness? Yeah, I don't right? know. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. No, I don't want that question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the answer so, is um, human bodies. I knew it was something crazy <laughs> like that. Hardcore, had to be hardcore. <laughs> they probably just like took the last dude who sapukued himself, hung him up, and then they all just went to town on him. So apparently, this is a rite of passage. The method was to cut a body of a dead person. Sometimes they would use live criminals. Wow, oh, man, man, I would not want to be alive back then. No. Nope. Yeah. Hey, bro. Uh, we're not sure how sharp this sword is. <laughs> we're gonna see if it cuts your hand off. And if it doesn't, my bad, then we'll get a sharp one. This is, this is what I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah. Look. It's not even the fact that it might, if this is a sharp sword. It's like, we don't know if it is. <laughs> so this is what I was thinking of. So there's a video here where they're just cutting through the They're thing. cutting through the bamboo and there's different. So to become a samurai, you have to cut through like one, like 10 things of bamboo and you, you do it at an angle and you can't do them all. You can't be a samurai in today's world. Apparently. Well, I don't. Oh. I don't think I would want to be a samurai in today's world. I want to that, use that was, human body. It was back. Yeah, it was back. The samurai back in the day, or there we go. Through. We just came up with a movie idea. Cut American <laughs> Samurai, <laughs> blockbuster hit. All right, whose turn is it? Uh, Brian's, I think. All right. Um, which mountain did Moses receive the Ten Commandments? Mount Sinai. It is. Nice. Is that five boards? Sure. Okay. Um, Good job, which is the tallest mammal? Giraffe. It is. Mount Everest is found in which mountain range? Is it in the Himalayas? It is. Yeah. What is the name of the fairy in Peter Pan? Oh, the fairy. The fairy. I was thinking like a water fairy. It's a. Uh, it's Tink. Tinkerbell. It is Tinkerbell. Uh, I was literally thinking of a water fairy. Oh, you mean like? It's funny when you get when you get words <laughs> when you get words like that and you just automatically think of like the wrong one. Yeah, like, uh, I can't even it think of off the other. whole thing. Yeah, it's just like. I think that's so stupid hey. too. Like whoever came up with a, a language, it's like, oh, let's make. Let's make a word that sounds exactly like another word. Yeah. <laughs> so when Spell you different, about, means something different. That's yeah. why it's so hard for people to learn English. Yeah. It's a fucked up language. Especially when it comes to the bears. And... Right, I was trying to think of another comment. <laughs> <laughs> effect, weather, effect. weather. Weather. Effect. Yeah, effect, effect. effect yeah. Which, which is which? You yeah. Know? I'm sure people have trouble spelling restaurant just like me. So oh that's gosh. a big thing. I, I can't spell it either. Theater. <laughs> Theater, the British way is like R E, but here it's E R. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a lot of those. The oh, British pretty. people and their slang. Have you ever like I've watched like video clips of like drunk British people and like when they get really going or like talking about sports and all like the slang they use and shit. 
It's so funny. They're like, you bugger. <laughs> like, I'll knock your socks off, you bugger. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You bugger. <gasps> Oh, All right, right. this is um, my last ridiculously made question, and I'm sorry, Brian, it's for you. Okay, whatever. In what year was veganism officially created? Holy shit. <laughs> I feel like it's got to be in the 50s or 60s, so, but it really could have been longer than that. I'm going to go with 19... 19- 51. Incorrect. Would you like to try to steal? Yeah, I only had like, you know, 3,000 to pick from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, one in 3,000, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. 70. Oh, I'm just going to guess. 72. Incorrect. I was going like AD. Like AD? 700 AD. <laughs> So Brian was closer. It's 1944. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there was a society, the veg- vegetarian society, and this group of people were like, "Now we want more," and they became the of course. Society. <laughs> yeah. Um, Can't be slightest rider, but just eating everyone's plants. They just, you know, <laughs> I, I got to get more. You know, whatever. Okay. You guys. Yeah. Uh, who directed the movie Jaws? Steven Spielberg. Yeah. The shit is definitely fixed. <laughs> I swear. Um, <laughs> the hunt. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. What was the hunchback of Notre Dame's name? Hmm? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what, 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 I thought you said. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't say it. I'm gonna guess it, but you get the, you get the final answer. No idea. Okay. So I'm. This is my final answer. No. No. That's <laughs> funny though. Oh, gee, it's funny that you whispered it too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Quasimodo. Yeah. Oh, Igor's the Frankenstein thing. Damn it! I don't know. Igor is a funny name. Yeah. I don't, I don't know <laughs> All right, you guys on the couch. How many strings does the violin have? It's more than a guitar. Violin. A violin. No, it's not more. I think it's four. I feel like it's more. I don't know. I've been, I haven't touched a musical yeah, instrument be, since a keyboard. Five, but I think it's four. <laughs> I like when he does. This. Yeah, I feel like we should go with five because you're wrong. I'm gonna say I think it. I don't know. I think it might be five. Is that your answer? I don't know. I'm gonna make let him make it. I, it's four. Is that your answer? Yes. It is four. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I always do this point where my like, I have this guess like it instantly comes in my mind. I'm like, I think it's four, and then I'm like, ah, but I'm gonna go with five. And it's like, why don't you just go with your first answer? So that's what I did in high school when they would like hand me a, a, a test. I would just do whatever my first thought was as soon as I yeah, I would just go for it. It's good. <laughs> you should most of the time. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because you'll think yourself out of the right answer all the time. Yep. Can't do that. All right, we'll do three more. Three more. Okay. All right, let's get it. All right, what color is the circle on the Japanese national flag? Red. It is red. (laughs) It's fixed. It's fixed. (laughs) Um, How many legs does a centipede have? (laughs) In the phonetic alphabet, the letter Q is represented by which Canadian city? I don't know any other Quebec. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Quebec. I guess there is one that's like Quinnip- Quinnipiac. Quinnipiac. Oh, yeah. Quinnipiac. Right? <laughs> Quinnipiac. That's Quinnipiac. <laughs> yeah, I think it's that one. What it is like Quinni- Quinnipiac. Uh, Quinnipiac is a college in Connecticut. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, maybe it's both. Yeah, yeah, because I doubt right. that I know just some random college in Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be something else. Okay. They always do like uh, election polls, like presidential election polls. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe it's yeah. you've like, seen. It. I'm sure you've seen their name a lot. Flashed. Yeah. All right. Is this the last one? Um. Yeah. Or we can keep going. Right, let's do a couple more. I'm, I'm, couple I'm into more? it now. I'm like right. super excited. This is what happens when I watch like Jeopardy and other stuff like this. Just I get so pumped up. I don't know why. 
It's fun learning. Who is the author of the Harry Potter book? That's for you, Brian. Oh, it's for me? J.K. Rowling. Yes. How many sides? Oh. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's okay. How many sides does an octagon have? Eight. Um, it is. I can't say this next word. So <laughs> um, what is the name of the city where the cartoon family, the Simpsons, lived? Springfield. What word in that could you not pronounce? I'm curious. Uh, no, question she's before it. She's oh. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Let's do the one. I was very confused. Chiropodist? Chiropodist? What's the question? Chiropodist? <laughs> read the question. Um, something about your feet. Oh. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to get C C H I R O. Can you say the question? Yeah. Give me some Which context. Which part of the body would a chiropodist drink? Oh. Chiropodist. Oh. Chiropodist. Well, that was a podiatrist too. It was your feet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What was the answer? It was feet. It was, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Crying out. That's weird. All right, next question. The title role of the 1990 movie Pretty Woman was played by which actress? <clears throat> Pretty Woman was that Julia? Is it our question? Yes. Julia yeah, Roberts. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Roberts. How many years are in a bicentennial? Two hundred. Yeah. Um, in 1969, who became the first man to step on the moon? Wasn't Buzz Aldrin, that's for no, sure. It was <laughs> and it was definitely not Lance Armstrong. Probably Neil. That guy Neil they brought with him. Neil, Neil Garrett, right? That's a, that's a, I think it's a house of representatives person. Uh, <laughs> Neil Armstrong. Jinx. Jinx. Bench poke. You owe me a coke. Um, not counting jokers, how many cards are there in a standard deck of playing cards? In a pair of playing cards or just one set of cards? <laughs> <laughs> one standard deck. 52. Yeah. The hammer, the stirrup, and the anvil are all bones in which part of the human body? Stirrup, the anvil, and the what? Hammer. I definitely know this. <laughs> and I'm what that mean? <laughs> a stirrup, anvil. And a hammer. Stirrup is throwing me off. <laughs> yeah. Stirrup makes me think of okay. the hip. And then... Like some kind of joint. Well, the stirrup that, make, it makes me think of the um, stirrups from cowboy boots. Well, yes, but it, when I'm trying to figure out the question, <laughs> I take context clues from other things and put them into other stuff. So the shape of a stirrup is like a U. I think it's. What's your guess? I say shoulder. I say shoulder. Oh, well, we can't say. See, we can't do it. Elbow. No, 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 you go. You go this time. You Shoulder. Should. Incorrect. Is it elbow? Would you like to steal? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say the foot. Uh, no, also incorrect. Fuck. It's the ear. What? Oh, you are <laughs> oh man. After the fact. <laughs> what, once yeah, you, once you knew it, the answer, you, you, yeah, you, you know it. Yeah. Once you said it. Shane knows all the questions the next day. <laughs> once you said it, I immediately, you know how you yeah. think of things, you, you see pictures of it? As soon as she said it, I saw a picture of it. <laughs> okay, mm. Brian. Which actor voiced the character Woody in the Toy Story movies? I know this. Was it... Tom Hanks. It was. I was about to say Tim Allen, and I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> I swear, I would, honestly, I swear to God, I had the same thought. I was like, don't say Tim Allen. Don't say Tim Allen. <laughs> he does have that Woody kind of vibe, though. He looks like him. Uh, 
All right. Which fictional detective lived at 221B Baker Street, London? What's the one I can think of? It's not Sherlock. Yeah, I guess. Inspector Gadget. But he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's American, I think. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes. It is Sherlock Holmes. Uh, yeah, Inspector Gadget's from Cincinnati. <laughs> is he really? No, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It seems like a superhero that come out of Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah. That should be something. That would be interesting to go around and do like capital cities and think of what superhero would be for each capital city. Annapolis would be like something to do with sailing. Sailman. <laughs> it would be better. as to come up with names. Stuff? It's a sailing capital of the world, bro. Oh, I did not know that. Annapolis. We got that question for Greek Week one year. And Frank... I, we talked about this before on the podcast, I think. I Isn't but Frank I, from Annapolis? Yeah, we brought, I'll bring it up again. Yeah, Frank, if you're listening to this, that when people don't forget, and you got that one question wrong, and I don't think you lost it for us, but but I hope that you're sorry for that day. <laughs> <laughs> was, there, was there like a question thing? Was there like a trivia thing for that? Yeah. It's, I feel like it's, I was never there. I, I definitely it. wasn't. I would have like actually signed up for that. Uh, uh, all right, last question. Right, yeah, last question. Let's do it. Which Italian artist painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican? Is it for Brian or for us? For Brian. Leonardo. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually not who it was. Um, yeah, wasn't it? Michelangelo. Michelangelo. <sighs> One of the turtles. It was Michelangelo. Yeah. Damn. All right. Well, who, who was the person with the sword for the Ninja Turtles? Leonardo. Yeah, that's why I, I, you said that. I was like, didn't you? <laughs> I guess Michelangelo. I'm going to return the pizza. I'm not worthy of it. <laughs> <laughs> like these Italian questions wrong. I thought that was Donatello. <laughs> or was that Raphael? Donatello was purple and he was like the leader, wasn't he? Uh, Raphael was. was he was he, he was like the outlaw. Raphael. He was like yeah. the kind of the bad boy. And Michelangelo was the orange one who ate all the pizza that all the time. Was, that right? was the yeah. best game of all time for Nintendo. For Hands down, yeah. maybe one of the best video games of all time. Period. So good. Yeah, it was fantastic. If you want to play it right now, <laughs> there was when I was um, younger. There was I used to play indoor soccer at this place, and they had that old Simpsons arcade game there. I remember I would used to save up quarters because I would play first and then my brother would typically play like an hour or two after me. So we had time to kill. So I used to just save up quarters and just play this fucking stupid ass Simpsons game. <laughs> it was so much fun because you could combine um, the two characters. So if you had like Bart and Homer, Bart would get up on Homer's shoulders and they would like. I'll also play shit. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, episode 22, man. This has been a good time. It's been good talking with you, Brian. It's been awesome. It's good to see you guys, uh, even if it's through a computer screen. Um, but Work once, on it, once I start, like, huh? Work on that tan a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to. No, and uh, once I get my podcast rolling, I want to have both you guys on it, too. Yeah. I haven't recorded any episodes yet. I just got, like, all the equipment, like, together how I wanted it, so... I'm going to start recording probably when the weather cools down. I'm not working tell, so much. Tell them what your cast is called. Your pod. My cast? Your pod. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I swear, like, sometimes I like, sometimes I like, sometimes I say something, and I'm like, that's not right. My, my cast. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're, we are, um, we're, we're still doing screen reads if you want to come in and like audition for the, to be on the cast. Yeah. <laughs> See, it sounds awesome um, it's just gonna be the Brian Licata show. Very simple. Uh, I wanted to come up with like a good title, but I also wanted to just use my name. The problem with using my name is nobody knows who I am, so it doesn't really have any weight. Hold up. Not nobody yet. knows your name yet. Yet. Got to start somewhere, man. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be the Brian Licata Show. It's going to be on Facebook, YouTube. Nice. 
Spotify, Apple Podcasts, blah 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 blah. You'll there be able you to see, go. you'll be able to see it just about anywhere. But it, yeah, I think episodes will probably start getting released in like uh, maybe September. I feel like is when I'm, when I'm really gonna get rolling on it. Cool, so. cool. We'll stay tuned, and uh, you know, obviously happy to complete the swap cast whenever. You oh get yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Thanks for having me on, gentlemen. No problem. And everybody, thanks for listening. Love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our shit um, because then you get uh, you automatically get updated with all of the new episodes, uh, even though they are released every Friday. Uh, make sure that you continue to subscribe and share our stuff so it gets out there. Um, also, you know, start liking some of my dank memes on Instagram because I spent a lot of time on those dank memes. A lot of them. What's are the Instagram money, account? But- uh question talk just question talk oh really i didn't know you had an instagram yeah i uh, got twitter too i think it's question talk pod and then youtube is question talk podcast um yeah and we have a website question talk pod.com you can listen to the latest episode there there's also i just put up about 200 random facts on the website so you can go on and check them out they're actually pretty funny and there are about 10 questions that i asked myself and answered also which sounds very weird but it makes sense if you if you look at the questions <laughs> so cliffhanger check it out shane you got anything to say to the peeps i only only have only only i can't speak today but you know what Die, bro. it's always fun making mistakes because you learn from them wise words wise words bye bye <laughs>